Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video session, we will be talking about conditional formatting, its different applications and different tips and tricks related to it. To begin with, we'll take a simple example. In this case study, I have various branches against which the operating profits and losses, the numbers have been provided according to different quarters. Now for some reason, some of these cells might display an error. That's because an erroneous formula may have been written. Now at the outset, I would warn that in this profit tracker sheet, wherever any errors exist, it should automatically be colored in light blue. So for example, this particular cell should be looking like this. And the moment I change it to a correct number, it should cease to be a, a colored cell. Now how to do that? Let's find out. First, let me choose the entire set of data. Let me go to home tab within which exists the option button called conditional formatting. Now primarily it contains three blocks of options and the one that I'm going to start talking about is the third block which says you can introduce new rule rule which says in any of the selected cells if the cell value is an error you can automatically color it as per your desired choice of color so i go to new rule mm -hmm. as soon as i do that what i notice is i get six options now based on my experience what i have found out is the most commonly used option is the second one it says select a rule type wherein the format only says that contain contain what contain a specific cell value let's say between 10,000 20,000 greater than zero maybe greater than 100 but in this case since we are focusing on errors let me specify format only says which contains errors this is the condition that you have introduced now it's the turn of the formatting that is, if the condition is met, the particular formatting must be activated. So I go to format. Now amongst the various options, I can see font color, font details. I can also focus on borders. And specifically, I can also mention the cell color, the fill color. So let me choose the light blue. Okay. So as we look at the preview window, it says if the condition is met, format only says with errors and the preview blue if I press OK perfect and the best part is if sometime in future you correct these values to let's say uh, in this case 200 notice the color goes off immediately on the contrary if some erroneous formula has been put in because of which an error comes in it automatically colors that in blue now at this very moment, let's say uh, the conditional formatting is correct. It's just that you want to change the color. So you might want to select the same set of cell. Now, let's say if you're sending this file to uh, a colleague, now he might not be aware that all these cells have been applied conditional formatting with. So he can use control G to pinpoint those cells in which conditional formatting has been applied and he can modify the color so let me press ctrl a which will select the entire sheet cells ctrl g special and let me choose conditional format so all the cells which has conditional formats will be chosen if i press ok you'll notice the automatic selection has been made now let me get inside conditional formatting and let me say manage rules what does manage rules talk about? It says any rule that you've already introduced, you must want to edit that in which case use manage rules. So yes, it shows me that the rule applied has been uh, the cell containing an error. So let me choose that and say edit rule. And let me go to format button and change the color to let's say light orange. Okay apply okay so this is how you also edit the existing conditional formatting rules 
Now, if you want to delete the conditional formatting rules, feel free. The way to do is go to conditional formatting button. You might say clear rules from the entire sheet. All gone. All right. Now, what if I want to highlight those cells which have not been uh, filled with any value? It's all blank. Again, let me replicate the same procedure. That is to choose the relevant data set. Conditional formatting. Same option, new rule. Within which, let me go to the same second option which we have used just a minute back. And this time, instead of choosing error from the drop down, let me focus on blanks. So if the cells contain blank, you must format that in, let's say, fill color yellow. Okay, so this is how it should look. Format only cells with blanks and that's the color. Okay, so this will raise flags that certain data has not been entered, in which case you would perhaps want to revise the numbers or enter the numbers. Now, keeping this yellow color on, I would also want that any cell which has negative numbers, losses, that must be highlighted in red. So keeping the same selection on, once again, let me go to conditional formatting, the third block, within which new rule. The same second option. Why? Because the same second option provides you the solution where you want to highlight the negative numbers. It says you want to format only cells with cell value less than zero. If the condition is met, let me go to format. Let me tell Excel that the fill color must be red and the font color must be white to give a contrasting look. Yep. Okay. So in case you notice, this provides a good tracker, good uh, benchmark where you, where you can quickly highlight which of these cells are depicting losses. So you can put two or more conditional formatting simultaneously on the same data set, provided they do not conflict and it, it is in order in which you have put in the following order would be accepted. So that was the basic conditional formatting Do give it a good amount of practice because the next particular sheet we will be talking about more applications. Let me go to sheet two. Now this time I have a list of employees against which employee ID has been provided six digit code. Now two things that I would want one, if anyone has not been given an, an employee ID, that particular cell must be highlighted. Secondly, by any chance, if I have issued a duplicate employee ID, then that particular cell too must be highlighted. So let me take on the blanks first. Let me choose the relevant data from start till the end of the employee ID numbers list. Conditional formatting. New rule as usual. The same second option. Now let me use the drop down and specify I want blanks. And if it is blank, please give me the format as specified for which let me go to fill, pick up a blue color. Okay. Okay. So as you can clearly see all the blanks has been colored in blue, gives you a flag which tells you, yes, the employee ID must be entered into. Now, based on this data for people, for employees whose employee ID has already been provided, I would want to detect if by any chance any duplicate ID exists. So let me choose the same data. Let me reach out to conditional formatting. New rule. Now, since I'm focusing on duplicates, let me take the second most commonly used option which says format only unique or duplicate values. What does this mean? This means that you can choose any one of the two from the drop down, one of which says duplicate. And the format, let me pick up an orange color. Okay. So what I notice is 
whichever cells contain duplicate value has been highlighted now let's say this particular person if I just change the number to let's say 9 the moment I change that employee ID you notice both of them cease to be a duplicate hence both the color has been taken off the list so those were few examples few simple examples of how you use conditional formatting to detect errors to detect blanks to detect duplicates and format the cell based on a predefined value let's say less than zero between 10 and 20,000 so in the next video we'll see more such applications more complex applications till then keep practicing